Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. Last year I made a garden table out of an old Singer sewing machine base. Ever since it's been on my list to build a bench to go with it, so I'm finally getting round to it. I'm starting with the base and I need to cut down some 6x2 material. This is just very cheap untreated construction timber. Now for a garden project treated probably would be better, but at the moment I'm just trying to use up all the bits I have on hand. These boards have rounded off edges and I don't want that so I'm just going to rip off a small strip on each edge. I want to get three of these bits glued up into a panel so I lay them out and then mark up with some positions where I can put some biscuits. The biscuits aren't necessary but as I have the machine I'm going to use it. Just to make my life a little easier, I'm just going to put a fence along this bench. So I've got a spare bit of timber, I'm just going to attach with a couple of bench hooks. I can then get the bit of wood I want to put the biscuits in, butt it up against it and start cutting them. With timbers this size, number 20 biscuits would probably be best. But I only have some number 10s, so yet again I'm just going to use what I have. With glue applied and biscuits installed, I can get them clamped up and I'll make two of these as these are going to be the legs for the bench. I'll leave them to dry for a few hours and then I can look at getting cut to size. I want to add a five degree taper, so I set that up on the sliding carriage and then I can get it cut on one end of both of the pieces. With one end done, I can then set up a stop block and then get the other end cut and then both pieces will be exactly the same length. To get the shape I wanted for the bench, I first did a sketch and then I made a template. So you can see I need to cut a back piece like this. Another bit of 6x2 is just big enough to get this shape out of it so I can mark it out. I could cut it out on the bandsaw or the jigsaw but I'm going to use this jig I use for edging boards. I get the line I've drawn lined up with exactly on the edge and then I can get it clamped into place. I can get the jig put up against the blade and move the fence up against it. I could now run it through the saw but this is why you should always think out your cuts first. The clamps were going to hit the blade guard so I needed to get that removed. Now I can get the jig pushed along the fence and cut off that excess. You can see here I had a little panicky moment where I wondered if the clamps stuck out of the bottom, but they didn't. So I needed two of these and I got them cut in exactly the same way. They need to have a 5 degree angle cut at the bottom and at the top to match those legs I made. I want those legs to have a bit of a wider foot, so I've got this piece of 3 by 2 I can get cut down. First I just roughly cut it to length using the jigsaw, then I can get the blade set to 5 degrees. There's no need for it to be 5 degrees, but I think if all the angles match it looks better. Before getting the pieces attached together I just give them a quick sand down. I'm going to glue and screw these together and I'm going to use a plug cutter to drill some pilot holes. I get a leg clamped in the vise, get some glue applied to the bottom of it, then I can position the foot and get it screwed down into place. For these upright pieces I've also pre-drilled some holes with countersinks and then I can get some glue on, positioned and attached with some screws. Now I want to cover these screw holes up so I get a dab of glue in each and then get a plug put into place. I leave them to dry for a few hours and then I can trim these plugs flush with a Japanese saw. I 
can now give everything one last sand down and then look at applying some finish. Last year I finished the table with this black exterior finish, so I'm going to do the same for the legs on this. This is oil based, so it took a couple of days to build up the coats, but while I waited for it all to dry, I could work on the slats. I'm going to make them 120 centimeters long, so I can get them marked out and then cut to length using the sliding carriage. I want the back to look a little bit more interesting, so on one of them, I'm just going to cut an angle on the ends. I give all the slats a sand down, they have the rounded off edges, and I just round over the ends to match. I want to attach all the slats with screws, so I mark out where the holes need to go, and then I can get them drilled with a plug cutter. This time I'm going for the larger 12mm, I used 10mm previously. That's because I was hiding them before and this time I'm going to try and make a feature out of them. When they're installed it's going to be hard to get some finish on the back and the sides so I'm going to do that now. I'm using Danish oil because that's what I've got but it's not ideal for outside but I'm just not going to leave this out all year round. When everything's dried I can start getting the slats installed. I use a combination square to help line them up and then I can get it screwed into place. To help get an even spacing between the slats, I've got a bit of 18mm MDF I use as a spacer. These slats are 4x2 and the back is made with two 6x2s. And just to make it easy to get them installed, I lay the bench down on its back. Thinking I'm nearly done now, I get these lined up to be installed and then I realise my mistake. I've drilled the holes in the same place for the seat and the back, but the back is slightly offset, so the holes don't line up with anything. So I just drill another pair. Now with the holes in the correct place, I can get it installed, and I use the same 18mm spacing between the two slats. All those screws now need covering, and those few spare holes I have, so I'm going to cut some 12mm plugs out of some oak to actually make a bit of a feature out of those holes. With lots of plugs cut, I can then run that strip through the bandsaw just to pop them out. Now I'm going to get a dab of glue in each hole and get the plugs in, trying to get the grain orientation the same. Then they can be tapped down into place. And the nice thing about building a bench is, you can sit down while working on it. After the glue's had a couple of hours to dry, I can use the pull saw again to trim them flush and then give everything a sand down. And the last job is just to get some finish on the front. So when the finish had dried, I could get it out of the workshop and it only just fitted through the door. I get it positioned in front of the workshop in a nice shady spot and then I can get the table I made last year using a Singer sewing machine base positioned in front of it. Now I can just sit back and enjoy a nice cold drink. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.